Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is a South African professional nurse Z and I am back with another HIV education video. Today I want us to talk about two things. It's quite an exciting video. Um, we are going to talk about these two tablets. Um, I know a lot of people who are taking ARVs, they know this one. Like this is the Atroiza, sometimes we give you Odimune, sometimes we give you Tribus, you know, but this is the fixed dose combination that has been active in South Africa, the one that has been our favorite for the longest time. Anyways, I do not want to make this intro super duper long, so let's just get on today's video. Okay, so I want us to talk about these two drugs. We have a new kid in the block. Do you guys see her? Do you guys see her? Do you guys see her? It's quite an amazing drug. Uh, this is also a fixed dose combination, um, however, it has a drug that is called Dolutopravir and it's new in South Africa. So what do we have? Okay, let me first start with our OG. What do we have in here? In here we have Tenofovir, uh, 300 milligrams, and then we also have Efevarens, 600 milligrams, and then we also have Emetricticitabine, 200 milligrams. And then on here, we having Dolutopravir, 50 milligram, and we also having lamovodine, which is the same as um, what you call it, um, emitriptycitabine. So lamovodine and emitriptycitabine are actually the same thing. Um, so it's lamovodine, 300 milligram, turn off of a 300 milligram. What did they replace here? They replaced efferens. So there is efferens on here and there is gelutography on here. I want to give you guys six, six important facts why gelutography is the favorite kid in the block of HIV. So it is highly effective. When we are saying it is highly effective, we meaning it suppresses the HIV virus faster than any other drug that we've had in the country. I, I like making this example that if reference, it's like a Greyhound. We are all going to Devon, right? This is a Greyhound bus and this is a, a mango plane. Who gets there first? The dolutograve. So dolutograve is fast in terms of suppressing the virus and I think they're saying it takes less than three months to suppress the virus and you know with efferens we would take six months for us to monitor the virus but with dolutograve it's just that fast. That's why we normally give it to women who are on third trimester of pregnancy. That's the number one. It's highly effective. It, it suppresses the virus really quickly. I think that is the most exciting part for me as an HIV activist. And then they are also saying it is well tolerated. Uh, when we are saying it is well tolerated, we mean it doesn't have a lot of side effects like um, the efferens use. For an example, remember that we don't give efferens to a patient that has an underlying psychotic condition, I guess, because it's going to get aggravated. But with this one, we also get to give it to psychiatric patients. How awesome is that? Uh, it, it used to bother me. You guys know Ukba Psych is also my second love. It used to bother me to actually know Ukba Psych patients can't have a fixed dose combination because of the fact that efferens is going to aggravate their, their psych issues, you know. And when they brought this and they said that even psych patients, they can take it because it will not aggravate their psychosis, I, I got really excited. So they're saying it's well tolerated, it doesn't have a lot of side effects. So if you are having depression, um, it will not aggravate your depression, it will not aggravate your anxiety. And then they are also saying it's easier to, 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 to take. Can I open them? Yes. Okay. So they are saying it's easier to, to take. I want to show you guys, Ukba, what are they talking about? So I want to show you guys what do they mean? What do they mean when they are saying um, it's easier to take? Let me just quickly do this. Um, yeah, so do you see how small Dolutograve is and how big, um, what you call it? Um, Efferens is. I'm, I'm gonna call them with the single difference doses because the others are actually the same. So this is what they mean. The other one, this one is smaller and this one is a bit bigger. And the other thing that is nice about it being easy to take is the fact that 
you won't have a lot of complications. Yeah. We're having a small dose of dolutograve, which is 50 milligram again, and small dose of ingredients means the tablet becomes smaller as well. Number four, they are saying that it has few drug interaction. When we are saying few drug interaction, remember when a patient has TB, you first have to initiate the patient on TB and then give two weeks and then you come back and initiate uh, ARVs because we are scared of the drug interaction between efferents and other TB treatments such as rifampicillin. So with this one, it's completely different. Um, in terms of TB, we just adjust the doses. Uh, we increase the dose of, what you call it, of dolitograve, I get when a patient has TB. And then when a patient has diabetes, we decrease the dose of methamine. Am I right? Yes. So that's the drug interaction. You are able to play with drugs so that they don't uh, create a problem or an interaction in the patient's system. Something that we could not do with efferent or any other drug, in fact. So we would be forced to find ourselves initiating one condition and then if we see the patient is adjusting well on that condition, we would later include efferent. And number five, they're saying it has a high barrier to resistance. I mean, a lot of our patients actually are not going to resist to dolitography. We have patients who are resisting to treatment. It can be uh, for so many other reasons, such as um, not adhering to treatment. So that causes resistance. And with this drug, it has high barrier to resistance. And then they are saying it's affordable. So the drug is affordable because we are using decreased ingredients, is it? Yes. Yeah, it's less ingredients. So when it's less ingredients, it means the government is spending less money on the manufacturing of the drug. So it is cheaper than this one. The last time I checked, this drug was 800 rands in pharmacy. I think that was back in what, 20, 2016. I'm not sure how much it is now. So it means this one is a lot cheaper than this one. But this one is more effective. So you can go to your nearest clinic, ask your healthcare provider about what is dolutograve. The other thing that I wanted to emphasize on dolutograve, we cannot give to women who are on childbearing age. Or should I say, we cannot give to women who still wants to give birth. Because some women, I care they are on childbearing age, but they don't want to give birth, they have no interest in having kids. So if you are 100% sure Ogba when you no longer want to have kids, then you can definitely ask for dolutograve. You can be switched to the fixed dose of dolitograve, but if you still want to have kids in the near future, in the near two years or whatever, definitely you cannot enroll yourself on this tablet because it, it has neurotubal defects, yes. It causes neurotubal defects on the infant on the first trimester, second trimester. I guess. Mm -hmm. So we only give it to women on the third trimester after the baby has been formed and everything else. But if you are a male, I would definitely suggest that you get yourself into this treatment, go and discuss it with your healthcare provider to find out if you are meeting the requirements to be on this tablet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot that so we guys got the health education. I love you all so very much. Did I forget anything, Osmaki? No. Yeah, please do hit the subscribe button to be part of the Nest V channel. Bye guys.